Hey Vikes, today we have a story about the Interact Car Show and a story that will make your ears pop. I'm Aaron. And I'm Morgan, and you're watching SVTV. Hey Morgan, have you ever been a pilot? No, I haven't. Well, some students at Seaman are learning how to get their pilot's license. Let's go check it out. Aviation Explorers post date took off in 1949 when it was founded by Charlie Carpenter, a naval pilot. Aviation Explorers post date has been affiliated with the Boy Scouts of America Adventure Program for over 65 years, making it the oldest post in the world. It's also the only post that own their own two aircraft for flight instruction. Scouts from 14 to 18 years old attend ground school during the school year, culminating in a three-day intensive ground school to prepare them for taking their FAA written private pilot exam. After the scouts go through intensive ground school and pass their FAA private pilot knowledge test, they have a chance to fly one of the two post aircraft a Cessna 150, or a Piper Cherokee 180 with an instructor. After they fly one for long enough and have turned 16, they have the chance to solo, meaning that they fly the plane without an instructor in the fuselage with them. They are then given a key to the hangar and to the plane they are learning to fly. Eventually, they have the opportunity to take the flying test after more hours of flying in their 17th birthday. I'm actually graduated from ground school, so I did my two years of ground school, um, and then I took my FAA test and now I'm flying a Cessna 152 for the post. A very popular trip the explorers go on is their yearly trip to Oshkosh, where they encounter many famous people, including Stan Lee and his newest superhero, Avior, aviation's new mascot. Some aviation superheroes who the explorers get to see are the Aeroshell Acrobatic Team, a group of pilots who fly many formations, the Blue Angels, a new group to Oshkosh consisting of six pilots who fly for the Navy, and the Jack Link's plane, aka the Screaming Sasquatch, a biplane that's fitted with a jet engine, which earns it the screaming part of its name. Um, Oshkosh is really fun to go to every year. Uh, it's definitely one of the highlights of being in the post. Post State also helps kids with skills they will need later in life, such as how to conduct a business meeting and public speaking. So I was the secretary on the post uh, board or whatever we call it, um, and uh, I had to conduct the meetings a couple of times and it really like improves your skills for like job interviews and like talking to people just individually. And after 65 years of operation, the post has continued to fly on, just as strong as ever. That's pretty cool. Now to your daily announcements. Seniors will check their laptops in on May 15th through the 17th after completing their last final with technology. Underclassmen will do the same on May 2nd, May 22nd to May 24th. If you're taking an AP exam, create your student account at schoologyboard.org. If you're interested in being a part of the choir, come to the choir room at 3.30 today and audition for the 2018 and 19 show choir. There are still spots open to receive a free fishing license of courtesy of the fishing club. See Ms. Pescu. 927 for more information. Stuco is sponsoring a Stuff the Bus event to gather school supplies for the Boys and Girls Club. For every 10 items that the seminar donates, they will gain an entry to for a drawing and a pizza party at the end of the week. We are having a school-wide contest to name the former East and West Locker Bays. The deadline to submit ideas is Friday, May 11th. Send your ideas to Mr. Tinsley on Schoology. SECLA members that did the Sonic card fundraiser, your cards and money are due to Miss Whitley by Thursday, May 10th. Spanish Club will sponsor its annual Latin dance workshop during seminar this Friday. Sign up in W20 by this Thursday if you're interested. The Interact Car Show was two weeks ago. Let's check it out and see how it was. The fifth annual Interact Car Show was two weeks ago. All the money went to Meals on Wheels and multiple participants came back for the second time.
All the money that we raise goes to a fantastic cause. It goes for the Meals on Wheels division in Shawnee County. The second reason, there are a lot of people that work uh, really hard on their cars. They take a great, great deal of pride. This year we have a handful of individuals that have come in for the second time. Uh, in the two years that I've been associated with the club and we have a lot of new uh, uh, participants and as a result of that it's just fun to go around because everybody has a story. Uh, one of the trucks is uh, 49, uh, 1949 and it was rescued from being crushed and the guy just put a battery in it, a little bit of gas and it started right up and he drove it home. This is the second year that we've had it and we've had fantastic weather and it's a great way to come outdoors and get kicked off for the late spring and early summer. Many SHS students came to show their own cars. Well, when I was little, we'd always go to car shows, especially the downtown one. And I've always been fascinated by the uh, antiques and everything and they just really catch my eye and I really think that they're the coolest cars ever. First, second, and third place awards were given to our students. We Nelson brought his truck to the show and for the very first time and ended up taking third place. That would be pretty cool to put it in this car show because this is going to be my, this, this is my first car show that my truck's in. This year over 30 cars were entered in the show, but last year they did not have the same success. I think last year, well I know for a fact last year, yeah, we were up against uh, one of the local radio stations car shows and although we had a couple of individuals that did both, um, we, our numbers were really down and this year we worked really hard uh, to not have the, those two entities on the same date and uh, we've paid off, uh, been paid off for our diligence and we're looking forward to next year and making it even bigger. This was the fifth annual car show and they plan on doing it next year. So come out then. That was really cool. Now over to sports after the break. Do you love to dance? Well, you're in luck because this Saturday is May 12th and there's also tryouts for the 1819 Bike Edge Dance Team. Get your packets from the front office. Dancers will also need to include a teacher evaluation packet. Make sure to bring them to tryouts. The clinic will be held in the North Gym from 9.30 to 11.30, and tryouts will be held in the Lord Play Purpose Room at 1. Good luck to all dancers trying out. Suco will be sponsoring an event called Stuff the Bus, where each seminar will be assigned a different supply this week from May 7th to 11th. Supplies include erasers, notebooks, crowns, and many more. All this will benefit the Boys and Girls Club, so be sure to donate supplies and help people in need. Baseball and softball won both their games against Washington Rule last night. That's all we have for sports. Now let's go over to Josh with the weather. Good afternoon, Vikings. We've got another warm day. High today, 88 degrees, and we're in, we stay in the 80s all the way through 7 o'clock. So, yes, it's another warm one, and, we, and we're sunny all the way through as well. Now, tomorrow, it actually starts to get hot. Check this out, 90s explode across the state. There will be a few more clouds tomorrow, but the 80s, 70s and 80s stay off to our east. So yes, 90s tomorrow, pretty much for the entire state. We'll take a look at the exact numbers in just a minute. But we've also got a storm chance, probably not until after midnight tomorrow night. So this is more late Thursday night into Friday morning. Some storms will be possible across the area, but it's not going to be a widespread major event. Then the Storm Prediction Center has placed us in a marginal risk for severe storms. This is for Friday, mainly Friday evening, with a slight risk and a better chance staying off to our north and west. And now for your SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that 90s are in the forecast Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Friday and Saturday are going to be very hot with highs around 95, and then much stormier with 
slightly cooler temperatures heading into the first part of next week. Today in History International Sleepover Day and Butterscotch Brownie Day. Now, back to your anchors. We're going to leave you with shots from the car show. Have a good rest of your day. Thank <laughs> you.